Welcome to Poppy Shop. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these interlinked hearts. You can incorporate these into almost an infinite number of patterns, scarves, hats, bags, you name it. So let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so to get started, we're going to tie a slip knot and chain 22. Two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. And 22. At this point, we will now insert the hook into the second chain from the hook, and we're going to slip stitch two together. So, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, and then pull through both of those loops that are on the hook. Then chain four. So there's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to join back into that very first initial chain, inserting into the wrong side of our work. So here's the right side. You'll see the hearts or the chains are nice and flat. Whereas if you flip it to the wrong side, you'll see it's got a bit of a raised, more of a bumpy look. So we're going to insert the hook into that very first chain on the wrong side and slip stitch to join. Now chain one and single crochet into that same chain. You'll notice we're now working on that wrong side facing up where it's bumpy and raised. All right, single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six three single crochets in the next chain. There's one, two, three, single crochet six, one, two, Three, four, five, and six. Two single crochets in the next. One, two, single crochet one. Two single crochets in the next, one, two, single crochet, one, two. All right, now at this point we're going to do a slip stitch. You notice there's a bit of a bigger space there that's normally where we would insert the hook. Instead we're going to go just a little bit below it and then insert the hook there. Slip stitch. Just makes the heart look a little bit neater on that portion. Slip stitch again into the next stitch. Okay, 
and then continuing continuing along single crochet two two single crochets in the next single crochet one And finishing with two single crochets in that last chain there. One, two, into that very first chain and slip stitch. And there you have it. We've completed our first part. Chain 22. There's five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 21, and then insert the hook into the first chain from the hook, and we're going to slip stitch two together. So yarn over, pull through, insert into the next chain, yarn over, and pull through all of the loops on the hook. Chain four. And then now we're going to grab our foundation part and just drop your tail through the center. And same as we did with the first heart, we're going to insert our hook into, again, the wrong side, so that raised side rather than the flat side. So into that first chain, insert your hook and slip stitch to join chain one now single crochet in that same chain and single crochet six and remember we're now working on this raised side or the wrong side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three crochets in the next three singles, one, two, three, single crochet, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, two single crochets in the next chain, one, two, single crochet, one, two single crochets in the next one, one, two, 
single crochet two. One. Two, and then again that slip stitch is not going to go where you'd normally put it, where this little space is. We're just going to go just below it, insert the hook there, and slip stitch. Again, that just makes it look cleaner, fills up that little space. And then slip stitch again in the next chain from here. Single crochet two, one, two, single crochet one. And single crochet two, one, two. Okay. And from here, we're gonna slip stitch into that next stitch there. And there we go, there's our second heart that's linked up. And I'm just gonna cut off my end here. Pull that through. And then we're just gonna weave in our ends like we did on our starting heart and clean that up a bit. So here you have it. We're finished. Both hearts are complete. I've tied in and hidden the ends on the reverse side. So to keep going, to get your desired chain length, just keep adding hearts following all of the same steps.